Dahuja. I'm Dick Walker, and welcome to our Carrier Bible Study. As we study the Bible, which is God's Word, we learn the truth about God and His ways. We also learn a lot about ourselves. We learn that Jesus Christ is the most important person in the Bible, and that He loves us. We learn that Jesus is the Creator. We read about what Jesus did in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. We also read about this in the Gospel of John, chapter 1, verse 3. All things were made by him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. Jesus is the one who created everything. We also read in the Bible how that when God created man, he gave him the ability to make choices. Adam and Eve, the first man and woman he created, chose to break God's word. Because of that, they lost their wonderful relationship with God, the Creator. Because of the choice of Adam and Eve, this desire to choose to do wrong and to go our own way has been passed on to us. We read in the book written to the people in Rome, chapter 3, verse 23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. The Bible makes it clear. If God is not in our life, and if we are not following what He has said, we have no hope. If Jesus had not taken our sins, our wrong choices, on himself and let himself be punished on the cross in our place, we would be without hope. Our sins could not be forgiven. We could never have a right relationship with God. We would not have the promise of a home in heaven and living with God forever. We can choose to make Jesus Christ and what he has done for us our hope. But what if we don't choose that? What if we choose to listen to Satan and his lies? Or what if we choose to go our own way? Choices can have some very bad results. Because of Satan's lies to us, we may think we are making good choices, but that is his way to trick us and to bring us into hell with him forever. We read in the book of Genesis that because of the bad choices the people were making, something very bad was going to happen. In the book of Genesis, chapter 6, it tells us about Noah and what happened with him. Vivian shares with us the beginning of that story. Sat now is that Adam was Eve, Habas Kehalan Sali, the Nazi Yahlebe seeds on Hanindak, Quenicha Adam Eve, but Habas Ahad's auntie. Huenicha, 
Hose le pesi tsans an intak. Hose did leads an hosa azit inta. Adam Eve pas paske hits a hind te tape hinsi a tadil easily. Etuaya kasta at ne. Then after ne tape hansi. Tsia hula habatil chill. Etting is janyan kacha tsia cha hula habatil chill. At once in Jan, is not a ne and yak a star yak and she ink is and yak a net and boozy and noah at ne yak a star noah a yes ne. The young cut in the hoof cho the ne hand she is a lee. Etowa the ne jacha hula hotel chill. Et a yes ne. The tea cho only. Di yan the hoosh cho hat har a tail bish. Chiai chuk chahula tele. Sranek e paint out a taste ash. Nyan n art nyuske haba art ka. En deeds e cho e be da tetas. Di yan kat kanai e. Chia nat de to ho da tasteless. Chi cho bet. Tabagatan le hundred and twenty years but in Noah Hink is ba tahalt of be ye but the bed in a hill in it in the hool years ho Noah Bagadat Ning is in Dobatni Ayakasta Bagancha's end a Yinkak n what hat had a tail beat habatni it once ish Tiana Noah he got Lo ink is yak a starch all a basy hat in ze hat in. And deeds each old had a jaho yak a star and dehanai e no a yuinin la. Et ho suck e the ne suck eats a coo hanai e davanin la. Ho tiana deeds each old bed a hanin tail. So what happened? We learn that in the days when Noah was living, the people were making bad choices. They were going their own way. They were doing what they wanted to do. They were having fun going their own way. And while they were doing this, Noah, for a hundred and twenty years, was telling them about God's ways and his words. But they chose to let God's word go. They would rather go their own way. It says in the Bible, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 14, verse 12, there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way of death. In the days of Noah, while people were going their own way, God said in Genesis chapter 6, verse 3, My spirit will not strive with man forever. Then in Genesis chapter 6, verse 7, God said, I will destroy man whom I have created from the face of the earth, both man and beast, creeping thing and birds of the air. In Genesis chapter 6, verse 13, God said to Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me. For the earth is filled with violence through them. Now 
tanayin habalagat eh, ntiyan gat tapehun si tanayin. The message that God told Noah is the same message for us today. If we choose to go our own way, like the people chose to do in Noah's day, we are choosing to go to hell. We are free to make choices. We can choose to go God's way or Satan's way. In the book to the people of Rome, chapter 6, verse 12, the first part of that verse says, The wages of sin is death. These words make it clear. If we choose to sin, we will go to hell. But in the rest of that verse, it says that God has a gift which will save us from hell and give us a wonderful life. But the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. In Boga Yakasta it says bait a hutena et her bahaquesa chats a hoot silho negauni I. God wants us to choose his wonderful gift of eternal life, which Jesus made possible when he died for us on the cross. God loves us and wants us to let our old ways go. He wants us to turn away from those ways that are leading us to hell. God wants us to choose the gift of everlasting life. His Spirit is calling you to turn to Him and invite Jesus into your life. Why don't you make that choice right now? Why don't you ask Jesus to forgive your sins and to give you the gift of eternal life? He loves you and is waiting for you.